Hi guys, welcome back to the Fully Committed Kitchen. Today we are gonna make a grain-free pizza um, that I use as an appetizer um, when I make my like big cheese board, um, like snack boards and such. I use this um, once I slice it to be on that table as well. So let's just start off with, I just baked this in the oven. I use this Capella's grain-free, gluten-free, naked pizza. It's made out of almond flour, eggs, arrowroot flour, cassava flour, coconut milk, coconut oil, um, celia husk, lemon, all really clean ingredients. I prefer this to a cauliflower pizza because um, I also am anti-trend. So anyway, they also make this um, with sheep's milk cheese, like an actual pizza with tomato sauce, but today we're going to use this one. So I'm going to start with, um, I have a vegan viola life parm, which I love, some mozzarella, I know, but we have some cherry tomatoes, arugula, fresh basil from the garden, balsamic glaze, honey, and olive oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by spreading a little bit of olive oil on my hot crust, okay? Um, like I said, it just came out of the oven. I like mine a little crispy, so it's ready to go. And then I'm going to start by breaking up my mozzarella. I just like to have broken up pieces all over, right? Now, you could technically put this back in the oven for a minute, make everything melt. That's my oven timer. Because again, this just came out of the oven. It was just a little hotter than I had expected, so it got a little crispy quick. Um, and so... I've been cooking all day, love it. And so this is just gonna complement really nicely with what I'm doing. So I like to take um, carrot shaver and shave my vegan parm onto the pizza, um, especially when you do like a naked pizza like this, it's really pretty to have just shaved pieces all over, right? We're gonna take a nice big heaping bunch of arugula. I like to give it a little break. I hate when it's like, just like overly messy. I like when it's like controlled messy, you know, nothing like a messy moment to make a girl feel good. I'm just kidding. You know me, I'm a little bit wild with it. I'm going to go back and grate a little bit more of my vegan parm just to give it that look that we all love, right? And then I'm gonna take my cherry tomatoes with a serrated knife. Mine are from the fridge because um, I like them cold. They look better on the pizza cold because they're not like bursted open and broken. There's, I hate that. I'm gonna do them in multiple colors. Okay, we have a little bit of yellow in there. Spice up your life. Strategically placed, of course. <laughs> I'm obviously starving. Spice up your life. Get it, girl. Okay. Now, I want it to feel fluffy. I don't want it to, like, sink in. So it's important that we uh, keep the volume going, right? Just like the hair. Volume, volume, volume. Okay. Then, my secret ingredient. I just need to grab a spoon, people. One second. I wasn't fully prepared there. We're going to take... Oh yeah, a drizzle of honey. Oh yeah, get it girl, get it. I just like to dip the spoon in and then just let it, this is the best way to drizzle. If anyone tells you otherwise, they don't know. They really just don't. And then we're gonna use a little, this is not the healthiest, okay? <laughs> the balsamic glaze, but we're just gonna use so little that it, it doesn't really matter. Again, I like to get it on that plate make it look pretty. And then we're gonna do just a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil on top. I put my finger on it because I'm Italian. So no, I'm just I like to control it, but I am Italian. My mama. Okay. Then I have a little bit of fresh basil right from the garden. I'm gonna give a rough chop to this, except I have the wrong knife here, but we're still gonna go for it. Put that right on top. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna use, bam. Do you guys remember Emeril Agassi? Bam. He was the fucking G. 
Here I go cursing again. Good thing we're not on a family network. Pizza cutter. Ooh, this part I never do very well, but I think we're getting it. Get it. Look at that pizza. Okay, so I'm going to cut mine into like... Oh! I'm going to cut mine a little bit on the uh, smaller side because, again, I'm using this as an appetizer. So this is going to be next to like my cheese platter, whatever charcuterie boards you have. Gorge. Gorge! You know I got to be extra. Who would I be if I wasn't? So then we just clean it up a little around the sides. I like to use this like beautiful wood board. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but I'm all about appearance. Duh. Here we go. Beautiful. I would have a bite now, but we have to take a picture because this looks amazing. Thanks, guys.